Hello and welcome to Kotex Securities YouTube channel. I'm Indu Chaudhary and this is Kotex Chatroom, a show where we talk about primary market IPOs and interact with company manager, managements to elicit their thoughts. In this special edition, we are going to focus on five-star business finance IPO. The issue is set to open on November 9th and the top management of five-star business finance, Mr. Lakshmipati Dindaran, CMD, five-star business finance, and Mr. Shrikant Gopal Krishnan, the company's CFO, join me to talk more about it. Gentlemen, welcome, welcome to Kotex Securities. Thank you. Okay, so I would like to start with uh, uh, Lakshmi Patiji. Uh, what is the objective of this IPO? So the objective is uh, we are a 38 years old NBFC, started in 1984. So we have a long, long history uh, to say. And more particularly, uh, in last 20 years, uh, we have been uh, we have been in this niche segment, uh, lending to small businesses or nano businesses, whatever you call, and very successfully having a track record for last 20 years uh, in growth without compromising on quality or profitability. Uh, that is one. Uh, second is uh, yeah, uh, being a listed entity always uh, 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 increases your visibility. Uh, to the to the greater world and both both in domestic also so that will have a uh, that will have a great uh, 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 value for our corporate governance transparency what we have been what we were building for last many years and eventually that will also uh, bring us uh, get our raw material which is both debt and equity at more, more uh, at more at cheaper uh, cost so keeping all in this uh, thought process, we started our IPO thoughts uh, a few quarters back. Uh, finally, we have now uh, decided and uh, you, you can see that uh, our uh, price band ad is out, ROC approval is caught. As you rightly said, uh, we open our uh, issue on 9th and we are closing our issue on 9th. Please help us understand the product portfolio of the company and also the details of your uh, you know company's loan portfolio actually yes uh, uh, we are uh, lending to a small business uh, uh, entity or entrepreneurs uh, that we have been doing it for last uh, 20 years uh, obviously this is also my 20th year in five star so when i joined five star five star was uh, uh, was lending to two wheelers and consumer durables uh, we were not doing that great because of uh, big competition from big banks and bigger NBFCs. So I wanted to move this space from uh, typical vehicle finance space to another, another space uh, which can create a niche for ourselves. When I was looking around, I saw uh, these customers uh, who were in the show, shown in the photo behind me, uh, small shopkeepers and uh, self-employed. These segment of customers were completely ignored by formal finance. Uh, which I mean banks and NBFCs in those days. So I thought this is a very good opportunity for me to learn how to uh, uh, create a niche for Fistar. So we started uh, this in 2004 as a pilot project. Uh, today, almost close to 18, 20 years, we have been doing very successfully, as I said, uh, growing the search, uh, one of the fastest growing NBFC. Uh, having said that, we want to be also one of the safest uh, uh, growing NBFC. So our asset quality and profitability speaks for that. Uh, see, we lend to close to 30 to 40 profile of customers uh, wh whom you can uh, name as small Kina uh, uh, Kirana guys, uh, single shop owners, uh, eatery guys, uh, self-employed like plumbers, electricians, barbers. Uh, so whoever you come across on the both the sides of the roads, uh, Five Star is ready to lend them as long as they have a good cash flow and good profits out of the business. And this is a fully secured loan. Uh, we don't do unsecured loan to uh, uh, small business units. Uh, majority of our security, close to 95% of the security is uh, um, uh, the residential property where the uh, customer's family uh, live in, self-occupied residential property, what we call. And balance 5% comes from uh, commercial property or open land. So 100% secured lending uh, business model to cater 22 trillion market opportunity in our country, uh, uh, which is lending to small business units. So that's a small background about uh, uh, five star. If you split the AUM as of now, 
close to 65% of our AUM consists of business loans. Uh, close to 20% uh, of our AUM consists of housing loans for the same profile of customers. And balance 10 to 15% uh, consists of um, uh, any personal uh, need. It can be emergency, it can be a marriage, it can be for education. So we cater to business, housing, and personal needs of these profile of customers. So could you please tell us the you know model or strategies to improve your uh, product offerings uh, post listing? There is no new product that we will be intent to getting in. We will be extending our uh, 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 the same product, lending to small business uh, 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 individuals more in a greater speed and more in, in deeper uh, wherever we present. Uh, as of now, we are uh, uh, prominently present in South India. Uh, we are close to 75% uh, uh, or 80% of branches uh, is been in four states of Tamil Nadu, Andhra, Telangana, and uh, Karnataka. So we will be more getting into deeper into this market because you know all these four states are uh, big in population. They contribute big in GDP to our country and, uh, 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 and their uh, income levels are going up on a month-on-month -month basis or year-on-year -year basis. So we are happy to uh, tag ourselves as a uh, leading players in South India. That's point number one. Having said that, we also have close to uh, uh, 50 branches in non-South. Predominantly in um, uh, MP, we have close to 40 branches and we have few branches in Yemach, few in Chhattisgarh and, and, and one or two in Uttar Pradesh. These are the learning branches that what we have been uh, put in. Uh, we are learning from this market. Now, what kind of team that uh, has been set in, what is the productivity level, what is the underwriting that we are able to get from them, and uh, how is the collections behavior, how is the legal aspect, especially from a collateral perspective. These things have been assessed continuously. Once the green signal is caught, uh, we'll be also moving uh, faster in uh, Central India and North India. Okay. Uh, so, sir, um, over the past four years, as you said, the company's loan portfolio has grown significantly and steadily. What are the main drivers of this growth narrative across all segments? Uh, so we'll, uh, the, the growth comes from three legs. Uh, one is uh, definitely uh, 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 adding more customers. If you see five stars, average ticket size was around three lakhs. Uh, we didn't intend to raise the ticket size for many, many years. Uh, instead of that, we want to add more customers. So that is why uh, 50,000 customers have today moved towards uh, close to 2 lakh uh, uh, customers uh, plus. Uh, so the first leg of growth will be increase in ticket size uh, for the new customers which we are going to acquire. Uh, we want to uh, move closer to our sweet spot is around 3 lakh to 5 lakh. Uh, today we are in the bottom of the sweet spot. We will gradually uh, move our uh, average ticket size from 3 lakh to 3.5, 4, 4.5 years to come. So this is first leg of growth. Second leg of growth will come from new branch addition. Pre-COVID, we were opening close to 50 branches uh, per year. Uh, during COVID 1 and 2, the branch opening was muted because we put the growth on back seat and put the collections on the first uh, front foot. Uh, now we are back uh, to the growth uh, stage. So we will be opening close to 50 to 70 branches as we move forward. That's the second leg of growth which is going to come. Third leg of growth will come from adding more officers, uh, adding more uh, uh, hands, and, uh, hands and legs at the ground level. Uh, this will happen both at the existing branches. Uh, as we speak, our uh, average officers per branch is close to eight. We intend to take it to 10. And uh, adding more branches in a year, uh, we'll be also adding close to 200 to 50 officers. So in total, we'll be uh, carrying 300 plus officers year on year. So increase in ticket size, increase in band branch expansion, uh, third, increase in number of officers, especially in sales. Uh, these are the three leg rooms that we have uh, for the for, for a comfortable growth coming forward. So just to add, I think this these are the same strategies that we used, uh, you know, even in the last four years. We had grown from a customer base of about, you know, less than 10,000 customers all the way up to, you know, close to two and a half lakh customers as we speak. So clearly it's an organic growth that come in. And from a single state player, you know, today we are present in eight states, though predominantly in the southern region. Uh, ticket size is always hovered around the three to three and a half lakhs. And uh, that is something that we will continue to sort of uh, uh, keep our focus on. So, you know, the growth has been completely organic through addition of branches, addition of offices, 
and uh, onboarding of new customers uh, which has resulted in the growth uh, in the last four years where we have grown in a very strong and safe manner i know it would be difficult to explain you but still i want to ask uh, what kind of cgr growth or uh, the company is expecting for the next 3 to 5 years uh, see we were at uh, 130 crores in 2015 and we moved close to 4000 crores in 2020 So in five years, we have been uh, we have we have the fastest growing uh, NBFC in our country. Uh, the compounded annual growth was more than ninety percent from two thousand fifteen to twenty twenty. Then it was hit by COVID. As as I said during COVID periods, uh, we will we have taken a call to be more uh, uh, stringent in underwriting and and put put some kind of slowness in growth and focusing more on the asset quality and the collections. So that is why if you see. Uh, we came out of covid with unscratched very few nbfcs came out of that i can share you a data our worst asset quality during covid was 1.68% which is 90 days plus uh, so that clearly uh, differentiated us from boys as uh, we said the covid clouds are all settled now we are back to our growth phase so you can you can take the hints from our past experience and you can calculate it what where we will be uh, in next 3 to 4 years okay um so I, i would like to understand especially the business sector digitization is playing a very vital role so do you believe that com- the your company can benefit from this untapped market and the expansion of data among the rural population see our belief and you know technology has been a, a great uh, enabler great disruptor in whatever the you know manner you want to call it our belief is that technology is definitely an important ingredient that we will have to embrace just to give you a perspective till 2017 we were a completely manual uh, player where you know physical files used to uh, you know used to move around uh, between the branches and the uh, approval uh, places but from 2017 onwards we decided to uh, you know digitize uh, we tied up with this uh, nucleus software and took up their fin1 neo platform and uh, you know today from a 5000 uh, kind of a customer base we are at 2 lakh 50000 so today everything is on cloud anybody can access anything from uh, anywhere so that is the first leg of the journey that we have uh, undertaken uh, we have used technology to first get the data more universal uh, across the organization the second is to cut the turnaround time this used to be you know even in the drhp we have given this used to be quite high pre 2017 but we were able to bring it down significantly to about 10 to 12 days as we speak uh, so our belief is you know technology is definitely going to enable a lot of process but can technology completely uh, you know do away with the manual intervention it cannot because today the profile of customers that we are operating in there is a lot of qualitative data that we are collecting so you know you don't find too much of transacting bank statements with them Uh, you know too much of credit histories and all that so while we do take all of that data we also use a lot of surrogates in the form of you know character assessment uh, you know we take uh, what kind of house is the customer living in what kind of uh, white goods are there in his house what kind of family is his is he a drunkard is he a gambler uh, are there fights between the people in the house so all these are data points that we painstakingly collect and i don't think you know technology can uh, provide a great insight into some of these things having said that we are definitely you know looking at uh, you know embracing technology uh, one data point that we have given in our drhp is over the last about 3 to 4 years we have spent almost 25 crores in augmenting our technology uh, we are moving to a new los platform uh, sales force uh, we have also hired a chief technology officer a head of uh, engineering and data sciences and put up a strong technology team so we want to make use of technology in the following areas one is use the apis that are available out there not created uh, from scratch use the apis to see how we can augment our data in the best possible manner uh, the second point is use this in terms of analytics as well uh, in terms of you know predictive analytics how our customer uh, portfolio behavior would be we also want to build a risk, a risk scoring model as we uh, go along using some of our data superimposed with the uh, industry data but at the same time there will always be a touch and feel to this business you cannot uh, be like a fintech where without seeing a customer or promise alone in you know 24 hours 48 hours and all that there will be certain inspections uh, by the credit team that we will want to continue to do manually 
but certain other places where we can use alternate data we will definitely embrace them and ensure that you know we bring our turnaround time down we also make our portfolio quality much uh, stronger and we are able to you know use this data for predictive analytics and risk scoring okay uh, uh so my last question is do you believe that you know the borrowers ability to pay back their debts may be harmed by the continually high inflation levels and which could cause an npa issue uh, for the lenders uh see uh, first uh, uh, data point i can uh, share with you and uh, you will also know that uh, uh, india is not this is the not the first time that india is facing 7% uh, inflation i have seen many 7% in my life nothing has happened that's point number 1 so nothing new for us both at the inflation point of view and the rate uh, increase uh, i've heard hdfc uh, started lending to housing loan at 16% uh, maybe uh, 20 years back uh, so the rate hike and the inflation is not new for our country but uh, our uh, logic is very very clear um, um, see uh, there may be a crush in the cash flow or the expenditure of uh, our customers we strongly believe that will be there but how can we protect our emi is the uh, crux what we have been uh, uh, challenging and able to do perfectly well during demon period during covid 1 covid 2 so nothing disrupted has like covid 1 and covid 2 so uh, this inflation is not going to disturb in in bigger way uh, uh, if if the rate of interest is increased by 1% that's that's very close to 100 or 150 rupees of increase of emi that's all from 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 our customers perspective uh, our customer will navigate this and uh, uh, since our loans are all secured uh, definitely the customer uh, thought process is to pay the secured loan first uh, even when the cash flow is crunched so we believe that and we have been sailing through all difficult periods uh, in last 20 years uh, what i said as was happened and this is continues to happen uh, uh, in our profile of customers well on that note thank you so much for being with us on the show and we wish you all the very bad, best for your upcoming ipo thank you thank so you thank you thank you for having us thank you thank you investments in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing